So today we're gonna to make strawberry jam. And I think people see jam as this complicated thing to make. So today I'm gonna to show you the most basic jam, basic strawberry jam. So here we have strawberries. This was four cups of strawberries, washed, trimmed, and cut into quarters. And the traditional way of making jam is that you use an equal amount of fruits and sugar. So this is four cups of sugar. I don't really like to use quite that much sugar. You can experiment with this. I'm gonna put in about two and a half cups, let's say, to four cups of strawberries. I like to put in a big pinch of salt, and I like a little bit of lemon juice. There's something about the lemon cutting the sugar but adding another element. It just makes it richer. So here's the sugar, the lemon juice, the salt, the strawberries. I'm gonna stir them together. Some cookbooks tell you that it's good, if you have the time, to stir the sugar together with the berries or the fruit the night before and just let it sit. And that, that helps break down the fruit. So, you know, if you have time to do that, do that. We're not doing that. We're just mixing these things together. We're gonna put them on the stove. We're gonna cook it for a little while and it's gonna be jam. We're gonna put it on the stove over medium heat. There it is. And I like to stir it for a while, but you don't really have to. You can leave it and come back to it after about three or four minutes and stir it, and stir it every few minutes. So as you can see, the sugar is beginning to melt. It's starting, getting ready to simmer. Eventually, when the sugar really melts, you'll see that the sauce around the berries will become clear, kind of clear pink. Okay, so there are little bubbles beginning to form around the edges. The hotter it gets, the quicker the berries are gonna break down and turn into jam. Oh yeah, now see, it's beautiful and bubbling. But see, they're starting to get soft, they're, they're breaking down, but you're just waiting for the liquid to get thick enough. The way you can tell the jam is done is you take some of the hot jam, some of the liquid, and you put it on a little plate. What you do is you let it cool, and you see how thick it is when it's cool, and that's the way your jam is gonna be, because once it cools, it's much thicker than, than the runny way it is when it's hot. Looking pretty done to me. Although you should know, that it doesn't really have to be one way or another. Um, if it's really thick, as I said, you can add water. If it's really thin, it's kind of delicious and syrupy. I find it almost more elegant when it's thinner. Okay, so this jam is finished, and we're gonna bring it over and pour it into some jars that we can then let it cool and put them in the refrigerator. And then I'm gonna put it in either jam jars, Pyrex jam jars, or Pyrex regular jars. But you wanna put it in Pyrex if it's hot. You don't wanna pour something really hot into normal glass because it could break. It's still hot, but I think I'm gonna try it anyway, just because I'm curious. Let's see if it's as good as usual. Mm. Oh, I wanna eat it right now on ice cream. Or on waffles, or on pound cake. It's really good. Mm. Yum. 